a writer of tremendous intelligence and tremendous ability. Such a voice that rings so clear and loud through all the other in the crowds. She's one of the greatest storytellers of all time. Her brilliance, and I don't say that word lightly, allows an actor or a reader to just fall straight into the world. Over the years, I've buried a lot of bones. Now, I'm inclined to dig them up again. She sort of creates these giant situations, things that are, you know, huge worlds that are totally different and lots of things that are going on. But at the core of her work is always this, like, extreme, cold, intense realism. It is an experience that once you go into it, it's like a ride. There's no effort. I remember the first time reading Handmaid's Tale. That story to me, it's just the most frightening thing ever. The power of it lingered and stayed with me and I thought, what is it that's uh, making me uneasy about this novel? You actually don't feel like it's fantasy. You're like, oh, this could be our future. That book was certainly represented a defining moment in my life and, and my own personal kind of coming of age. We were custodians of an invaluable treasure that existed unseen inside us. I've always just been inspired by her as a person and uh, just her work ethic. For this to be an audiobook that I get to be a part of is, is a huge privilege. I would never call her Margaret, I would call her Miss Atwood. <laughs> From getting the call to being here and reading the book, it's just been a true pleasure and an honor.